Hey folks, what's happening? This is DJ Rock and Rob, and I'm here today to talk about gobos. Print at home gobos, that is. In this video, we're going to detail the specific process for creating gobos in Photoshop. So, once you get your Photoshop open, let's start a new gobo, right? We want to select millimeters, and uh, my Stellar 60 is a 26 millimeter gobo. So we're going to make a document that's 26 millimeters wide by 26 millimeters tall. 600 pixels, that's an important one for uh, re-editing purposes. So that's our, this is our 26 by 26 millimeter uh, workspace. Now Photoshop always locks the background image, but a simple way around that is you click and drag that right onto the new new layer icon that duplicates it and throw away the locked one now we are free to edit the the image any which way we want no restrictions alright so we need to we need to select the ellipse tool if this looks like a little line right click on it and you'll have a lot of uh, options within there these little arrows at the bottom of each square means that there's more to that particular uh, function like this is the eraser tool right but right click on it and we have the magic eraser tool I like the magic eraser tool so we have 26 millimeters by 26 millimeters we select the ellipse tool maybe you had the line tool you need to select the ellipse tool and we need to change the color to black whichever one of these is on top is what color it's gonna be so black now to draw a perfect circle you need a perfect square Lucky enough for us, we have a 26 millimeter square here. So, top left corner, click and drag to the bottom right corner, and done. That is a 26 millimeter circle. Now, it created a shape layer, which we can't uh, edit until we right click on it and rasterize layer. Now, it's just a black dot, and we can change it any which way we want. But, we're not quite ready yet we need safety margins this is one of the biggest lessons I've learned in creating my own gobos we need safety margins so we're gonna uh, open up a new document switch it to millimeters and my stellar 60 has a 24 millimeter viewable area the gobo size is 26 but the viewable area is 24 so change this to 24 millimeters and the height and you will be set again 600 uh, pixels per inch now this is a 24 by 24 uh, square and we click and drag this fantastic circle boom right click on the layer rasterize type now I selected the uh, arrow tool control A selects all control C copies we select the uh, original and we control V for print now it doesn't look like we did anything, but you look over here, we have it. If I turn off the shape one, it gets smaller. Look at that. Wow. So anyway, layer one. Up in the layer, f we want to change the layer properties or the layer style. We want to add a stroke to it. And the stroke color is going to be white. three pixels wide is is plenty fine because this is only for our purposes and we say okay now we have this beautiful white circle here right the purpose of this is now we know where our 24 millimeter viewable area is so now we are free to make uh, our gobo right so Make sure that uh, you have your uh, font selected. I've already selected Edwardian script. That's what I always use because it's really pretty. Uh, uh, Monogram KK is, a, is another really good one. Hard party to find that one out. But um, let's do our letters. What shall we do? Let's randomly select a letter with uh, K. Hmm. I pressed K, but it didn't happen. What are, where is it? It's just blank because we didn't change the color. Look at this right over here. All right, it's black. So we change that to white, and boom. There it is. 
There's our K. Is that their last name or her first name? Is her name Carrie? Yeah, okay. Let's say her name is Carrie. So, select it, make it smaller. Perfect, 24 is fine. Now, don't feel that you're confined to just these uh, selections. If you wanted a 20 point character, make a 20 point character. Boom, done. There it is. Now, what's his name? His name is uh, S. Yeah. Hey, my name is S. Well, my last name is anyway. Now, that kept the same properties from your first one, and it's a 20 point. It has the same uh, font, and we're good to go. Now, what is, uh, what is his last name? His last name is uh, V. Yeah, look at that. V's nice. But we want that to be bigger. So shift home selects all or back to the original point and we'll make it bigger. And we'll make it bigger. Boom. Now that's too big, isn't it? <clears throat> make it smaller. There we go. Thirty six is fine. Now, because these are uh, individual layers, we can put them anywhere we want. So we select the K, and we can put the K anywhere we want. Select the S, move it anywhere you want. V is not exactly center. I don't know. Put it there. Now, once you have your layer selected, the arrow keys will position the layer for you. Left, right, up, down but shift arrow keys move a little bit faster no I mean just straight arrow keys is a fine movement shift arrow keys is a big movement that's pretty helpful now the K perch the K right up there nah just it's just fine sitting right there the V cross over the the kick a little bit S. We need to bring in the S a little bit. Now, the K via S looks pretty good, right? But it's not perfectly centered in the thing. What we're going to do now is we're going to make that, uh, well, let's press Control, click your different layers, and now we can affect them all at the same time. Or you can rasterize the type rasterize the type rasterize the type and now because it's not just an object we can make changes to uh, to the font itself maybe it was just a little bit too much flare you know I don't know control Z is undo control alt Z is step back what if what if we don't like this uh, this over here? We could just take that out. What if we don't like it at all? Huh? I don't know. It really depends on what you want to do. But uh, if we merge layers down, merge layers down. Now this one layer K is the whole thing. We have lost the ability to move the K individually, the V individually, and the S. All right, so we're happy with the Gobo. Turn off your safety. This is your Gobo. Save as a JPEG. We're going to call that Gobo1. Save it to the desktop. Done. There's our gobo. And because we use the safety lines, it'll work every time. This is DJ Rock and Rob saying thanks for watching. I hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time.